This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description. Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. We are at the Crazy Cards box tournament, I guess. We're in part two. Bit of a weird one, it's a double event today. Uh, slightly smaller turnout in the second, after, uh, second event, but all good, all the same. Nice and big, nice and competitive. Probably the closest thing we're gonna get to regional in a little while, so. Uh, I played against this man round one, got absolutely whomped by him. Uh, doesn't help that I don't know what Virtual World does, but it works well enough to win. Uh, he was XO and then lost out on the final round. Yep, lost to Drytron in the final round, I've ripped both games, so there's not much you can really do. Yeah, one of those, you win the ones you can, and the ones you can't, you can't do anything yeah, about exactly. it. So, um, what's your name? My name is Tom Hartz, and yep. uh, well, like you said, I went uh, X1 with Virtual World. Excellent. Okay, so we don't actually know your final standing yet because we haven't got to that point just yet. Yeah. So we're doing this a bit uh, preemptively. But... Yeah, I, I, would, I would assume it's at least third. So. <laughs> at least third, we would hope so. Okay, cool. So uh, shall we get stuck into the profile? Yeah, perfectly. Okay, cool. So take us through the list. Yeah, so I mean, Virtual World is pretty standard anyways. Like, it pretty, had, pretty much has a standard list. So you play like the hand effects, three Lulu, three Lao Lao, uh, three GG. Three Lily and two Nyan Nyan. Uh, I didn't play Tutu today because I think Tutu kind of sucks, if I'm honest. Like, it doesn't do much, only really facilitates like VFD combo, uh, and it didn't really, I didn't feel like it would do much for me, yeah. anyways. Uh, and let me just apologize about the noise in the background there. We are still running, there's actually still a bit of an event going on, so hopefully yeah. you can hear everything okay. Fingers crossed. Uh, but yeah, for hand traps, I played uh, three Ash, uh, three Phantasme, which was a little bit different and to info. Yep. So a lot of people actually play Gamma in the deck because it has the cute interaction with Nyan Nyan uh, where you can like shuffle back the driver. Um, but I just wanted this deck to be as consistent as possible. And yep. I found obviously playing driver in a deck makes you draw like really dead sometimes. Uh, and Phantasme helps you like fix your hands in the best case scenarios. Um, it came up relatively often, but I kept getting ashed on it. So it just kind of sucked in that scenario. Yep. Um, but I think I'd actually keep playing Phantasme moving forward. Yep. I think it's quite good at the moment anyway. Tri Brigade is everywhere yeah, as well. Yeah, I mean, Tri Brigade running rampant. Uh, sometimes Tri Tron go into it. Um, the mirror, it sucks, but I mean, you have like every other card in the deck to kind of make up for it. Yep. Um, but that's it for like monsters and stuff. Spells, uh, three Kowloon, uh, three Qinglong, and two ports will afford a third super. Uh, pretty standard. Uh, three Desires. If you're playing this at any less than three, especially in Virtual World, you're wrong. Yep. Uh, I Like this card is so insane, and again, it says draw two. It literally says draw two. And the interaction it has with Nyan Nyan, you can actually shuffle back your face down banish cards as well. Yeah, Which yeah. is just nuts. Uh, and then two foolish goods. Again, I just wanted to go for consistency. Um, this card actually didn't perform as well as I wanted it to. Uh, I would probably cut it moving forward. But like, if you open just this and like no other kind of, like no other starter, you can, it's a pseudo starter. So yeah. you can kind of like send Ching Long, get to your extra bits. Yeah. Uh, two cosmic cyclone. Can uh, Revolts a card. Um, something really cute as well is you can hit uh, the Meteonish Drytron. Yeah. Uh, and you can banish that so it stops them from like recycling it, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, cool by the Grave because like. It's cool by the it's Grave. It's cool by the Grave. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then for the traps, we played two Chuche, uh, which is pretty standard. The one Chuan Wu, and then the spiciest tech of them all, one Imperial Order. Um, it's a free win. It literally just says, yeah, this card tech says, flip it and you win the game, so. Yep. Uh, on to extra deck. Uh, shout outs to Bordski. Uh, moving on, so yeah. Uh, one Zolkin uh, with Muddy Mud Dragon for the uh, Crystal Wing. Yep. Uh, the Muddy Mud Dragon as well helps you summon uh, the Dragoon or the Caliga. I played both because they come up in different situations. Sometimes you just have to commit your whole hand to the board, so Dragoon really isn't worth it. Um, and Caliga plus uh, Crystal Wing is pretty, pretty nuts, anyways. Pretty, pretty filthy. Yeah. Uh, Stardust Charge and Coral, they both achieve the same thing. Uh, they both draw you a card and they're both level sixes. Uh, it's just the Coral Dragon's a tuner, so if you have iffy hands, you can kind of, um, what's the word? You can kind of maneuver through the combo a little bit differently. Yep. 
Uh, my personal choice for uh, another level eight was Starlight. Ooh, Starlight, sure. So this was for like more or less for time, helping myself clear boards in scenarios where like there were things that were like untargetable. Yeah. Um, it didn't happen today, but I've had it before where I've actually like summoned this in time and just managed to like kill my opponent that way and like yeah. just just gain the advantage there. So it's a pretty good choice. It didn't come up today, unfortunately, but like it's one of those things. On that, paper, it sounds good. Yeah, right? on paper, it's pretty pretty nuts. Uh, the Crocodile Dragon standard, Vermilion standard, uh, Shen Shen as well. Again, cards all, insane. All standard like level nines. Shen Shen is is just too good. Shen Shen Shu is an FTK right now. Yeah. Uh, the Break Sword was the only rank 3 I played. Um, I didn't find myself uh, utilizing uh, Fortune Tune or like Bamboozler enough. Um, anytime I was making a rank 3, more or less, it was to just break boards. So yes. this was like the best thing to do. And you can pop like your Qinglong, your face up Qinglong or face up Chuche if you need it to extend. Uh, for the rank 6s, we played Fan Fan and M7. Uh, M7 is just insane in simplified board states. You can like hand trap your opponent, make this, add it back, and just like keep stunning them until you uh, occur enough resources. Yep. Uh, Fan Fan is just, it's a virtual world name, plus uh, you can banish, uh, you banish too. Sorry about that, we just got a confermation that our man here finished second, so yeah. well done. <laughs> <laughs> well, to uh, finish off the extra deck, uh, well, uh, Fan Fan, it lets you banish two, um, one on field and one in grave. So like, this actually comes up really relevantly in Dinosaur post siding because yeah. like, having Lancia, you can just like drop this against their miss. Uh, but like, in any scenario, even like against Striker, like the more rogue matchups, this is like a lot more important than, let's say, something like M7. Yeah. Uh, and then lastly is Zeus. Um, Personally, I don't think you have to play this. Uh, for it's a, lot, a good card, though. It is a really fucking good card. If you can get access to this, 100% play it. Um, but a lot of people like are looking for budget decks, and you can like easily cut this and find space for like another rank three or something. But if you have it, 100% like play it because again, it's like Imperial Order. It just wins you the game on the spot. Yep. Uh, and that's it for the extra deck. Uh, moving on to the side deck, so I played the one pack of tops. It's, it's pretty bad to treat at this stage. Yeah, yeah. I, feel like, I feel like in any sort of mid roll deck, you have to play this. Yeah, uh, it's just free advantage. Uh, I played two Gamma Seal. I played this over Nibiru because I found that Nibiru actually just kind of sucks this format, yeah. honestly. Um, especially against like the top decks, like Drytron are more than likely going to have a negate on board before you can drop Nibiru. And uh, Tri Brigade just don't lose hard enough to it. Um, I feel like being able to just kaiju over their guys is more important. Yep. Uh, especially with cards like Dragoon about as well. This uh, this deck struggles to kind of play through Dragoon. Yeah. Uh, Triple Lancia. This card was glued to my hand all day. Uh, God said. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> apologies to the dinosaur player who I Lancia twice. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like again, another mandatory card this format, especially with Tri Brigade running rampant. Yeah. Uh, Triple Droll and Lockbird, uh, again, it's it's fairly standard, it's yeah. Droll, it's good. Um, was contemplating maining this actually over Phantasme, um, but I think I valued the uh, I valued the card advantage more, the draw. Yeah. Uh, two Triple Tags, so this was like a last minute decision. Sure. I didn't actually have anything that I wanted to play in place of uh, the two Triple Tag. I could have played like the third Gamma, uh, the third gamma Seal and like a, like a red reboot, um, but this card was like doing me bits when I was playing it in the main deck. Um, um, but I felt like, especially with the decks that I was coming up against, I wasn't really getting hand trapped. So going set, like when I'm going first and I know my opponent's going to side for going second, this does kind of come in clutch. Yeah. Um, and I mean, it's three band cards in one. What is there not to love about it? Yeah. Uh, three twin for back row. Uh, yeah. Any deck. I mean, I came up against Altergeist and this came up. Um, and then the one half is Feather Duster as well. For exactly the same. Again, yeah, it just, it's just a complete board wipe. Uh, Lightning Storm, I think, is not very great this format either. Um, just because, again, it's not in, there's not enough value. Yeah. Um, going into, again, against like things like Tri Brigade, you're not, you, you, it's like a one for one. Um, I mean, you could say the same thing with Twin Twisters, you get less value, but like it comes up more often in other matchups also in comparison. Um, but that's just my opinion. Yeah. Okay, so that's the deck profile, everyone. Uh, any shout outs before we go? Uh, shout outs to the boys, uh, Chris, Terry. Uh, they were lending me cards for the deck. Uh, Chris lent me a Dragoon. Uh, shout outs to the boys down at Geek Retreat in Chelmsford. Um, that's our regular locals, and we test a lot with the guys there. Yeah. Um, shout outs to my mom, my dad, you know, standard <laughs> stuff. And uh, well, shout outs to Shen Shen, because you were winning me games like it was no man's business. There so. you go. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much for taking the time to do the profile. Thank I do you. really appreciate it.
year. Uh, congratulations on your second place finish. Congratulations on beating me. I'm very good at this game, so you should feel <laughs> absolutely happy with yourself. Such an honour. Uh, so, brigade, bro. Let's <laughs> try brigade. Uh, so yeah, if you guys haven't already, you should definitely hit subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.